Hello Rail fans, and welcome to another French Fried Trains Minecraft Train Tutorial. Today, we're going to be continuing on with our Pacific Surfliner Train, and we're going to be building the entire train set here. We're going to start off showing you how to build a business class car, and then I'm going to show you how to modify them into the coach car, the cafe car, and the cab baggage car. So let's get right into the build here. So the first step is to take out a dark oak stair for the coupler, and we'll get that attached up. Then behind that, we're going to take out light gray concrete and put three of them coming up the middle. Underneath it, we're going to put a row of dark oak fence gates. Then on either side of the light gray concrete, three smooth stone slabs on the upper hitbox then three light gray concrete on the outside edges. And actually, we're gonna knock out this center light gray concrete on each side. In that gap, we're gonna put an upside down polished deep slate stair and a polished deep slate slab underneath that. We'll do the same thing on this side. So an upside down stair and a slab underneath that. Then we'll start our wheels off here, so on the next block, down on the rails, we're going to get a netherite on each rail, with an end rod in between them to be the axle. Then in front of that, a 3x3 three three of polished black stone blocks. Then another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Then on the outside of the wheels, on the side, we're going to put an upside down polished deep slate stair and on this end it's going to be facing this way then turn around on these wheels it'll be facing this way then across the bottom middle three polished deep slate slabs same thing on this side here then on bottom coming off the side of this here we're going to extend down a line of andesite blocks and that's going to be 24 blocks long in total Once you have 24 blocks, we come over and do the exact same thing on the opposite side. So a line over here, that's 24 blocks long. Then we're going to fill in the middle three, starting down here by the wheels and all the way down to the end of this with light gray carpet. Then behind this, we're going to do our next set of wheels, so switch back over to a block of netherite. Netherite on each rail with an end rod axle, then a 3x3 three three of polished black stone blocks. Then another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Then we take upside down polished deep slate stairs, facing this way on the sides of these wheels, turn around and facing this way on the sides of these wheels. Then across the bottom middle, three polished deep slate slabs. Same thing on this side here. Next, down on this end here, on the side, we need to come up one and over one with light gray concrete. Then on the upper hitbox, we'll put three smooth stone slabs, three light gray concrete, three smooth stone slabs, and a light gray concrete on each side. Also a light gray concrete in this corner, in these middle gaps, an upside down polished deep slate stair on each side facing outward. Turn around in the middle, stack up a dark oak stair for the coupler, delete the one we used for placement. Then run dark oak fence gates up the middle here on bottom for an airline. Then underneath this stair on the side here, we're going to put a polished deep slate slab. And then we'll come do the same thing on the other side. So we put a polished deep slate slab underneath that stair. Then we're going to put a warp button on each of these sides. And we'll come down here and put a warp button on each side down here. We also need to put a dark oak fence on each side of the coupler on both ends of the car. But apparently I forgot that when I was doing the build. Next we're going to extend our light gray concrete 
down each side, starting on the end here, until it meets the end of the truck. And then same thing on this side. And we'll come down and do the exact same thing over here. So extend down your light gray concrete until it reaches the end of this truck. Same thing on that side. Next, we're gonna extend our light gray concrete another three blocks towards the interior of the car on both sides. So three here, three here. Then we'll do the same thing down here. So three more light gray concrete on each side. And then we're gonna put two oak doors. Same thing here, two oak doors. And then copy that over on the other side. And then we'll fill in the gaps between the door sets with a full line of light gray concrete. Same thing on this side here. Next to these doors, we're gonna do a two by three of light gray concrete on each side. Then, in front of that, a two by two of right side up polished andesite stairs facing outward. Same thing on this side. Then, we'll do one full row of light gray concrete to the end of the car on each side. Then next to this, one light gray concrete. Then two bedrock on each side for a little bend. And fill in the rest to the end with light gray concrete. Then we'll move down to this end. And this end is slightly different than the other side. So to start off, we're gonna do three light gray concrete next to the door. Then we'll do a column of two deep slate tile walls sticking up. Then a full row of light gray concrete down to the end on each side. Then next to the deep slate tile walls, two gray concrete. Then we're going to put an andesite gray concrete down to the end of it on each side. Then next to each door on top here, four light gray concrete on each side, then a single black stained glass pane, then a single light gray concrete, then two black stained glass panes. And come over here, and we'll just copy that window pattern over here. Once we have those windows in place, we can go ahead and fill this top layer top of each side with light gray concrete until it's all filled in. Do the same thing over here. So now we have our bottom floor framed in. Next above that we're gonna go end to end on both sides with two layers of blue concrete. Then on the side directly lined up with the center window below it, we're going to put two black stained glass panes. Then we'll skip a block and two, skip a block and two, skip a block and two. So there's four windows this way, and then we'll skip a block two, skip a block two, skip a block two. So we've added another three on this side, so there should be seven in total. Then we'll fill in between them with blue concrete here. Then on this side, we're gonna put two blue concrete, a single black stained glass pane, blue concrete, two black stained glass panes, blue concrete to the end of it. The other side's slightly different. Down here, we'll do two blue concrete, one black stained glass pane, and then blue concrete to the end of it. And then we'll come across on the other side, 
and just copy this window pattern directly across to this side. It's exactly the same. And then of course, we'll come back through and put all our black stained glass panes in for the actual windows. Once all the windows are done, we'll go end to end on both sides with another layer of blue concrete above the windows. Now we'll start working on the interior here. So come in here and in front of these doors on the left hand side, two columns of three smooth quartz coming up. Skip two blocks and another two columns right here. We're going to put an end portal in there to be a toilet because this is a little bathroom. And we'll go ahead and put a warp door right here. Then we're going to put in a cauldron here, fill that with water, hit it with a light blue dye, then a light blue banner for a mirror. And that's the bathroom sink. Then we'll turn around this way, put an iron door here to be the other wall. Then we're going to come down, crouch, and put a white banner to cover the window on it. Then we'll put two smooth quartz across the top to frame it in. Over here we cover that wall with cyan banners. Then on the other side of this door, we're going to put a staircase of four polished andesite stairs going up the side like this. Then at the back of this light gray wool, two rows of three smooth quartz, and then two right there. Then on the left hand side of that smooth quartz wall, two cyan banners. Next we'll come around here and start working on the seating for this lower level. We're going to take out a diorite wall and where this window that's two blocks wide is, we're going to put a wall on bottom on each side of that. So we're going to do a wall here with two iron bars coming up above it. And then the same thing on the other side of this window, a wall here with two iron bars. We'll do the same thing next to these doors, a wall on each side with two iron bars coming up on each side. Then in front of it, a bookshelf on each side, then a dark prismarine stair, turn around, skip a block, stair on each side facing this way. Turn around again and another set like that on this side only. That open area is a handicap spot. Fill the side of this wall with cyan banners. Down here, on the right hand side next to the door, four polished andesite stairs coming up in a staircase. Then, we'll go ahead and fill this in with cyan concrete so it looks like that. So we have a two by two space there. Then we'll put two by two on the bottom here. We're going to put two blast furnaces like this and two on top and two brewing stands stacked on top of each other. There's a little tiny galley style kitchen for the car attendant to hand out coffee and drinks and snacks and stuff. And I did put a flower pot down but actually we got to take that out here because we need room for the railing on the stairs. So take out the flower pot and the two brewing stands here. We're also going to make a banner for the cupboards, so go ahead and get out a loom, take a cyan banner, white dye, put a white border on it, get rid of the loom, and put two down here for the cupboard doors. We're going to come on the side of that second stair, close the trap door on it to be a railing, and we'll put a brewing stand in the middle there for a coffee pot. Next, we're going to take out end rods for our lights and come off each side of these iron bars and start bringing them out horizontally. Skip where those iron bars are on the one side, fill in in between them. Stop on the right side there by the iron bars. On this side, knock out this top banner so we can connect it. Then, down here, we'll put one in the bathroom and above these doors, we'll put some coming horizontally across here to light up this end of the car. And we'll do the same thing down here, 
So above these doors, we'll put three horizontally across. Now we're gonna take out light gray wool up here, a three by two, leaving the space above the stairs open. Then I put one here, but when I tested it, I couldn't fit up the stairs. So it's gotta move back by one. So three across here. Then we'll spin around, fill that in, and we'll fill it in three wide down here until we get one block before the end of the car. Then we'll come around here and start filling the whole middle three end down to the other end. Just keep it coming here, cover up this bathroom, and then when we get here we're going to stop and only two rows on this side so we leave space for this stairwell and I'm going to make sure we can fit down in here and we can so we're good to go and we'll continue filling it in three wide on this end and then same thing stop one block before the end of the car. On the end here a three by three of smooth stone and an oak door in the middle and then we'll surround the door with smooth stone up to the top. And we'll come down and do the exact same thing down here. So a three by three of smooth stone on the end, then an oak door in the middle, and surround the door with smooth stone. Up here on this end, there's a kitchen. So in this left-hand corner, we're gonna put two smooth quartz and a quartz slab on top, turn around and put an iron door for a refrigerator. Here, we'll put four cyan concrete, and we're actually gonna knock out this one right here put in a cauldron for a sink fill it with water hit it with light blue dye then a brewing stand right here for a coffee pot then we'll put a flower pot right there and we'll put our cabinet banners on the bottom like that then up here a temporary block come around like this and closed two warp trap doors and then delete that temporary block so there's a divider. We'll also uh, add one on the very top there so it goes all the way up. Then we need to make a railing so no one falls down that stairwell. So we're gonna come up next to the stairwell still using warp trap doors. Turn this way and put a line of them going this way and then close them. And I'm just making sure we fit through everything on these stairs here, and we can, so it's good to go. In front of this stair, a smooth quartz block on either side, and then we're gonna put two glass panes coming up above them on each side. In front of that, we'll put in our seats, so we're gonna put dark prismarine stairs on each side with a block of space between each of them just keep bringing that down here. We'll stop right here, smooth quartz on each side here, and same thing, glass panes, two of them on each side. Then here, we'll close a row of warp trap doors so there's a railing by these stairs. And make sure we can fit down that. We need to put a smooth quartz under there, and we'll put a trap door on each of these stairs so there's a railing. Then we'll put our banner with a border underneath it there. Then up here there's bathrooms, so one block in front of the stairwell here, a column of three smooth quartz, then we skip a block and we do another column, then one on the top middle. Turn around and we're going to do another bathroom on the other side here, but it needs to be offset here. So we're going to do two columns of three smooth quartz coming up to the top. Then skip a block and another two columns here. One on the top middle. We'll put an end portal for a toilet in each of these tiny bathrooms. And then we'll turn this way and this way and put warp doors on them to cover them. So there should be just enough room to walk through there. Then we're going to put three rows of iron trap doors here for baggage shelves. Once that's done, we're actually gonna knock out this divider on the left-hand side opposite from the stairs here. And 
we'll bring some more seats up this side. So a seat here, here, and here. Then we'll put our border batter on each side like that here. Then on the top of each side, we're gonna put a row of sideways end rods to light up the top floor here and just keep it coming. When you get to this divider, we'll just skip over it and add more on the other side. And same thing down here, just skip around these glass dividers and add more on the other side here. We'll bring that one right to that divider here and we'll keep this side coming right up through this kitchen until it connects up. Then on the next layer up, we're going to start filling it in with stone blocks, three wide going end to end. Once that's done, on the outside edges, we're going to go end to end with outward facing stone stairs on both sides. Once that's done, we'll detail the end here, so put an iron trap door in the center under the door and put a polished black stone brick wall on either side and we'll bring that up and over the door. Then on the first blue on each side, a redstone torch for marker lights. We do the exact same thing down at this end. So we'll get an iron trap door in front of the door, then polish black stone brick walls on either side and come up and over the door. Then on the bottom of the blue, a redstone torch on either side. Then take out a soul torch and one on each side of the doors and same thing down here. Then of course we'll do the other side so one on each side of these doors, and one on each side of these doors here. Now we're gonna make some banners, so come into a loom with a blue banner and white die, horizontal on top, horizontal on bottom, diagonal, new banner. Vertical on the left, vertical on the right, horizontal on bottom, new banner. Vertical on the left, top half white, and then a diagonal, new banner. Vertical on the left, Horizontal on top, horizontal in the middle. New banner, vertical on the left, horizontal on bottom. New banner, vertical in the middle. New banner, vertical on the left, vertical on the right, and a diagonal. Then take all those letter banners we just made, switch to blue die, and put a blue border around all of them. That will come place. So we're going to come on the side here in the blue concrete section and we're going to come one block to the left of that single window on bottom and we'll start spelling out Surfliner. We'll leave a space for the E because I didn't have enough room in my hot bar to make the E yet and then put the R. We'll do the same thing over here, so one block over from that single window. Start spelling out Surfliner. The same thing, we have to leave a space for the E, and then put an R on the end. And we'll come back in and make the letter E now. So go back into your loom with a blue banner and white die. Vertical on the left, horizontal on top, horizontal in the middle, horizontal on bottom, switch to blue die, surround it with a blue border. Then we can come place the letter E into the surfliner word. And of course, we gotta do it on the other side. So place your E into the word there. And this completes the business class car here. And now I'm going to show you how to modify them into all the other different types of cars for this train. So feel free to use the structure command to copy in or build as many more of these as you'd like. But you should have at least six on this train in order to be accurate. Because we're going to have two business class cars, a cafe car, two coach cars, 
in a cab baggage car. The reason we're doing it all as one video like this is because unlike the regular superliners, which have slight differences on the exterior from car to car type, the surfliner cars are pretty much all exactly the same on the outside. And I didn't think there would be any point in doing four separate videos to build the same exact exterior. So once we have at least six of these copied in, we want two business class cars here. So we're going to skip two and we're going to come to the third car back and we're going to turn this into our cafe car. So come to this third car back and we'll go on bottom and come inside here. So we'll come in here past this bathroom. That stays the same so we'll leave that. And we're going to start deleting stuff in here. So we'll go ahead and start deleting all of these seats this is going to be the little dining area and take out those bookshelves as well then this end down here is going to be where the actual cafe is where you would get your food so we're going to come down here go ahead and take this row of lights out on top then we'll come through here and we'll take out everything from this little galley kitchen. We're also going to remove this stairwell completely. And then we'll knock out this cyan concrete wall as well back here. Then one block behind these wheels, we'll put in a wall that's 3x3 three three of light gray concrete. Then, we're going to put blast furnaces across the end, and three coming out this way. Up here, we're going to make a 2 by 3 of glass blocks, because that's where you would pick out all your snacks and stuff to buy. Then across this back top middle three, netherite, then two item frames with polished deep slate slabs to be little cupboards here. Then next to this door, a column of three netherite come around here and we'll put our border banner on it two of them another netherite right here with a polished deep slate stair here for a cash register because that's where the car attendant would stand for you to buy your food and here we'll put two brewing stands to be drink dispensers then we're gonna come down here we're gonna knock out this divider and we'll fill it in with another sideways end rod Then we're going to take back out dark prismarine stairs and we're going to set them up in a pattern where there's a space between them and they face each other. Then turn around and another one like this. Behind this we'll put a composter and fill it with some leaves to be a trash can. Then an end wrap between all these seats for the table supports. White carpet on top of them to be the actual tables and then there's the little dining area for the cafe car. Then we need to move on to the upstairs here. So we have to come back down to this end because there's only stairs down here now. So we're gonna come back up here and we're gonna modify this slightly. I accidentally had a block place there. We're gonna take out the dividers here. Go ahead and fill in with an end rod right there. We're going to take out these railings because this staircase is now gone. And that stair. We'll fill that with light gray carpet so it's covered. Then we can go ahead and take out this divider as well. And replace an end rod in that gap up there. Then go back to our stairs and we'll start adding some more seats back here. Then we can add a couple more on this side of the kitchen for this car. Then we'll knock out this top end rod and put a column of three bookshelves for storage. And now the cafe car is done and we're going to move on and modify the car behind it into a coach car. Now the only real difference 
between a business car and a coach car on this train is the seating arrangement and type. So we're going to come downstairs first here. And we're going to go ahead and start knocking these seats out. We're also going to knock out this divider here. Go ahead and fill the gap with an end rod. Knock out these seats and a bookshelf. Then take out wax oxidized cut copper stairs and put a row of seats with a block of space on each side here. Then we'll add another divider on this side so a diorite wall and two iron bars. This completes the modifications for the bottom of the car and we'll go up top and work on that now. Up here, we're gonna go through and delete all of our seats and replace them with wax oxidized co copper stairs. Back here, we're gonna take out this divider on the opposite side of the stairs here. Go ahead and replace the gap up top with an end rod. And while still leaving a gap of space between them, we'll run some more seats up this side because the coach car is going to cram in as many people as possible. Then knock out this end rod up here. We'll go in and grab a bookshelf and we'll put a column of three bookshelves in this corner. And we'll move on to the next car here. So this next car is going to be another coach car, so we're going to do the exact same thing we did in the last car. So we're going to go through and replace all of our seats with wax oxidized cut copper stairs. Then we'll take out this divider on the opposite side of the stairs, replace that gap on top with an end rod, and we'll run some more seats down this side. Back here, we'll put a column of bookshelves and we'll have to knock out that top end rod. Then we'll come down and do the bottom, same way we did it on the last car. So we're gonna come through here. We'll take out these bookshelves and all of these seats. We'll also take out this divider here Fill the gap on top with an end rod, take out that last seat, turn back around, and we'll put in rows of wax oxidized cut copper stairs for the new seats. Then we'll build another divider on this left hand side, so a diorite wall and two iron bars. Now we'll come outside here and we'll move to this last car, because this one is different. It's a combination coach, cab car, and baggage car. So we're gonna come in on the bottom of this car here. We're gonna knock out this stairwell here. So take off the railings, the blocks under it, and the stairs. And those two stairs up there. We're also gonna knock out this wall here. This is gonna be the baggage area. We're gonna put a three by three of light gray concrete over where those wheels are to be the new back wall. Then we're gonna go ahead and fill this with some stuff to be baggage. So we'll put some chests, some bookshelves, a barrel, some more chests, another bookshelf, another chest. So that's the baggage area. And we'll put a door right here to stop the passengers from going in the baggage compartment. And then we'll fill in above it with a smooth quartz block. Then we'll start deleting the seats in here. We'll also delete this divider here. Replace the gap on top with an end rod. Finish deleting these seats and these bookcases. Then starting back here, we'll put new seats in, which just like before, are wax oxidized cut copper stairs with a gap of space between them. And then we'll put a new divider on this side in front of the seats here. Then we'll come up here and work on the top. 
So we'll come all the way back down here. We're going to take out all of this trapdoor railing here and this divider here. Fill the top with an end rod. Fill this hole where the stairs used to be with light gray carpet. Then we'll start putting wax oxidized cut copper stairs on each side and just delete all of these seats and replace them with the new ones. Then once we get down here, we're actually going to come outside next because this is also the cab car and we're going to do the exterior first. On the end here, we're going to delete all of the walls from around this doorway. Then on the upper block on each side of the door, knock that out and the blocks above them. We'll replace those with black stained glass blocks for the windows. Then we're going to come down here and under the door, we're going to knock out two rows of three of this smooth stone block in the middle. There's supposed to be blue and white caution bars here. We don't really have a way to make that, so we're going to use light blue glazed terracotta. Then we're going to take out a glow item frame, one on each side above that button, with glowstone for ditch lights. Then we need to put one where this iron trap door is, so delete it, another one with glowstone for a headlight. Then above the redstone torches on each side, we're going to take out a dark oak sign and we're going to put our number on it which for this one is going to be 6905 same thing on the other side then we'll hit both of those signs with white dye and a glowing sack then we're going to come on bottom here and behind the coupler we're going to knock out this row of all these five blocks behind the coupler I accidentally knocked out that one above it. I wasn't supposed to do that. Next, on that row we knocked out, we're going to put five polished deep slate blocks. Then we're going to come underneath, knock out this second dark oak fence, and put three polished deep slate blocks on the bottom middle. Then here, a polished deep slate stair. And then a polished deep slate stair on this side. Then we'll put a warp button on each of these deep slate blocks on the sides and an acacia button on each of those smooth stone blocks. Then I replace the block I knock out in the light. Then we put the door back in. Then we're going to have to put on a temporary block here so we can place our trap door. So stand on the temporary block, crouch, and put an iron trap door there above that light. Then you can delete the temporary block here. Then we're going to come up top here with a dark oak fence gate. We'll open back to back fence gates up here for the horn. Then we're going to come inside and build the actual cab. So we come in here. We're going to delete everything for this kitchen up here. So delete these blocks, the brewing stand, the cauldron, this block, and delete this refrigerator. Up here on bottom, under the window, a lever for the engineer, and on the top window, a glow item frame with an end crystal for a computer. Then we'll take our wax oxidized cut copper stair for the engineer seat. Behind it, a column of smooth quartz. Then we'll take out our stairs again for seats. We'll put one here and one there. Then we'll run a row up this side. They don't quite line up, so we'll move this one forward by one, and then one more here. Then, in front of this seat, we'll put an iron door for a wall, then an oak door for the actual door for the engineer compartment. Come out here, put a temporary block right here, stand on it and crouch, and we're gonna put two trap doors up here. Then we can go ahead and close those and delete this temporary block. So the engineer compartment sealed off now. Then we're gonna come back here and take that same border banner we've been using, put two here and two here. And now the engineer's cab is completed here. And there we have it, folks. We've completed our entire Amtrak Surfliner train set.
We've done the combination coach baggage car, coach cars, business cars, and the cafe car. I hope you enjoyed the build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.